Hi guys, and welcome to Studio Time with Zach. My name is Zachary Rudder. I'm an artist based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And on the easel today, we're taking a deep dive into a method of transferring images that I created called the comic book grid system. As you can see, we've got plenty of work on the working wall and no time to waste. So let's get to work. You guys may be wondering what I'm doing all this dancing for. Well, that's because I got some very exciting news. Before I tell you this news, I think it's better that I dress a little nicer, so. Now that's better. Get a load of the new all over print sweater that is soon to be available at ZachryRoderArt.com. We are going to be releasing a brand new Sun Heart collection for the month of February for Valentine's Day. Uh, many of you guys may not know this, but I've been doing an annual Spread Love Army Valentine's Day show for the last two years now, and we're coming up on our third year. But due to COVID, having a celebration in person just doesn't seem possible. So what we're gonna try and do is release a whole new collection of clothing via my website, ZachryRoderArt.com. As you can see, the prototype for the all over print sweater is perfect. It's so comfortable. And this is hand stitched by some man I've never met. <laughs> all the merchandise on my website is made possible by the lovely people at Printful, a print on demand site. Stop on over to ZachryRoderArt.com, buy yourself a shirt or two, and get ready for the brand new collection dropping February 1st. Now that we got that taken care of, we got a lot of work to do. We're coming into 2021, guns blazing, kapow. We got a ton of work to do. Like I said, this working wall is full and we've got commissions backed up to March. So we got a lot of work to do. Before we get on to the actual project of this video, we're gonna finish up this little circle piece. This painting is titled Kiss of Death and it was actually commissioned by my good friend Louis Castle of Louis Castle and the Rooks. You can check out all of his music on Spotify. I highly recommend You Just Make Me Feel Some Type of Way, one of my favorite songs of all time. I must say I'm very excited with how this piece came together. We checked another one off the commission list on the working wall. Now let's get to this week's lesson. So as I mentioned, we're focusing on the comic grid system. You can't really focus on the comic book grid system without comic books. I always try to use comic books depicting war as my background so that I could paint something positive and colorful and beautiful on the surface. Because like life, my artwork is meant to represent both the good and the bad coexisting, but always with the emphasis of the good being on the top. So what you'll need is a little Mod Podge, your comics, and a brush. I'm gonna save you guys the boring stuff. <sighs> Check it out, guys. So now that we have our comic books collaged, the next step is to use our iPad to take a photograph of the canvas. Very nice. You're gonna to wanna to upload the photo to Procreate. You can see the photo has been added. It was a little smaller, so what I went ahead and did was distort the image so I could stretch it to the surface of the canvas. And then if you double tap that with both fingers, the opacity adjusts. So I usually take about 50%, so when you zoom in, you could see the helicopter we see here. That might sound a little confusing, but that's okay, because I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So as you can see, I set my iPad up directly next to the canvas so I can continue looking back at my photo of the sketch and comparing the comic books underneath to the comic books on the surface of the canvas. I always like to find scenes that are pretty easy to begin with, such as the circle of the helmet of the football player. Uh, then it's just a matter of slowly adding the details where they belong on the surface of the canvas. We've got the beginning of the skeleton outline finished. It's a very easy, very simple technique to transfer an image without any math. We've got the skeleton outline of the entire image finished. It's very rough and very hard to make out at first glance, but that's where our childlike instincts to color in the lines comes into play. Before I do that though, you can see I left this whole area blank, and if you look at the image, that's mainly the sun heart. So if I go ahead and incorporate the sun heart next, I'll know what details underneath I'll need to add. So let's add the sun heart, and then let's start coloring this baby in. So you can see I went with a stenciling technique to transfer the sun heart onto the image. I draw the sun heart so much that perfection is very important. I have talked about how I make my stencils in a different studio time with Zach. So definitely check out an older episode. I 
Our sun heart is gonna guide us on all the information behind it that we don't need to incorporate to keep us less confused. Now what I'm gonna do is to start breaking apart the individual levels of the painting. And really, if you can transfer the comic books onto a surface, then you are one step closer to perfecting the comic grid system. And if you actually try the comic book grid system out for yourself, send me what you come up with. I'd love to see the comic books you used. I'd love to see the images you guys are working on. And I wanna see how you felt the comic grid system helped you. Now, that being said, let's keep working. Get into the details there. Down by the riverside. It's funny, three rivers. While we're letting the paint dry, I thought I'd take a second to tell you guys a little bit about this commission. Uh, this was commissioned by my dude, Mitch. He's commissioning this piece for his mother, who is a die-hard Steelers fan. She's even got a steelers theme bar in the basement of her house. He was dying to get a painting to brighten up that space. So I'm very excited with the progress so far, and I think Marsha is gonna absolutely love it when she gets it on her birthday. So Mitch and I have been good friends since freshman year of college. Uh, we were introduced by a mutual friend, our homie, Master Chef Zach, who rests with God, unfortunately passed away a couple years ago uh, and that's only brought Mitch and I closer. One thing that our buddy Master Chef always said was be yourself and both of them have always been huge supporters of my art and keep telling me time and time again keep with it keep hustling keep grinding so yo Mitch I'm so happy and honored to make this painting for your mother and I appreciate having you in my life. I love you brother. Take a quick intermission to clean some brushes. clean brush is a happy brush. Now let's get back to the studio. Check it out, we got all the color filled in. We're gonna let this sit for a little while, and then it's time to get to work on the black outlining. This piece is coming together so quickly. Okay, so I can't even lie to you guys. I am not a big football fan, but I am a diehard Pittsburgh fan. I love my Steelers, I love the team, but as you could tell, the jersey number originally was 19 and I went ahead and changed it to 88. And that is entirely off of that last playoff game against the Cleveland Browns. I had to go with a more timeless Steeler for this one, baby. <laughs> oh my God. All the black outlining is finished. All that's left to do is the white outline around the sun heart and to sign it. I am blown away with the detail. Marsha is gonna lose her mind. All right, check it out. We've got everything finished, all that's left. That one final thing you know every Zach Rudder painting needs, the signature. There you have it, another painting in the books. I'm so happy with the result of this. I think this is a perfect depiction of Pittsburgh pride. It is the city of champions, it is the city of bridges, and I think we captured a little bit of everything our beautiful city has to offer. I love this painting, I love painting Pittsburgh. So, as always guys, if you had fun, if you enjoyed yourself, and if you think you learned a thing or two, please like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the fun happening at Studio Time. And until next time, keep creating art. Bye guys. It's that time yet again, ladies and gentlemen, the close-ups. This week's close-ups are brought to you by all the beautiful people that helped make this video possible. Mitch for commissioning the artwork for his mother, my man Louis Castle for commissioning the circle painting, and for supplying some of the music in this very video. If you guys haven't, check out some of his music on Spotify, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep up with everything going on. I've got tons of fun stuff coming, just you wait and see. What are you still doing here? The video's ended, guys. Go home, be with your wife and kids, have dinner with your family, whatever it is. The video's over. Enough, enough. Wait, 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 before you go though, since I still have your attention, please subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of fun projects lined up for 2021 that I don't think you guys are gonna wanna miss. Big things happening in studio time. 
and I can't do it without you guys. So thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching, and definitely mark your calendars for February 1st when my Valentine's Day clothing collection drops at ZacharyRutterock.com.